Hey YouTubers, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take apart and rebuild the top pan piston cylinder and ring on a 55 Husqvarna chainsaw. Here's the saw here. So in this first video I'm going to show you how to take it all apart. First thing I'm going to do is remove the two half inch nuts here and remove the bar and chain. the bar up like that. Get the chain off the tip of the bar. Now I'm going to remove the two Allen bolts right here. And that's to remove the handlebar. And I'll remove the other two Allen bolts here underneath the saw. And now the handlebar is going to come off. Now with a Phillips screwdriver, remove the three screws on top of the cover. You're going to need to remove the one Allen bolt here. And now remove the two muffler nuts here and there are five sixteenths. Now this little plate here is going to come off. And now just pull the muffler right out. And this is how you can usually tell if you've got a blown top end is you look through the exhaust port and there you can see that the piston is all scratched up or scored. So that's why we've got no compression. Now remove the Phillips screw that holds the air filter on. Now remove the two Allen bolts right here and there's a third one down here. And don't forget this one down here. Now that bracket's going to come off. And hook the fuel line from under there. And on this side here you want to unhook the throttle linkage. You can also remove the choke cleaver and separate the plastic part from the carb. At this point here I'm going to unhook the fuel line. You're going to notice two Allen bolts down here, one here and one over there, and they need to be removed. Now you'll need to unhook the spark plug cap. Before trying to remove the adapter here, just remove the recoil first, and I'll show you why in a few minutes. Now to remove the recoil, you have four screws, one here, one there, one there, and one over here. Now take the wires out of the grooves here. This plastic cover is going to come off. Now what you need to do is remove the Phillips screw right here. It may be covered with dirt so clean it off if you can't find it. Now by removing that screw it's allowed the intake here to be loosened from the body of the saw. And now it's safe to remove the whole adapter here without breaking anything. Just pull out. So now we're almost done. All you need to do now is to remove the four bolts that are holding the cylinder to the crankcase. And there are Allen bolts down in these holes here at the bottom. If you find the bolts have a lot of dirt in it, grab a small screwdriver like that and clean out the inside. Then your Allen wrench is going to fit in there much better and it's not going to slip. So I've got all the four bolts removed, now it's time to remove the cylinder and see what it looks like in there. Well here it is, it's pretty bad. It's all scored, the ring is seized, it's not working at all. Here's the cylinder, you can see on the exhaust port that it's got deep grooves in there. It's not repairable. I would not hone that and put the cylinder back in because it will still lose compression. Even if you would put in a new piston and ring, the cylinder still wouldn't be good. Look at that. Not sure if they overheated it or ran it low on oil. The connecting rod and the crankshaft seem good. 
Now this saw here is going to need a good cleaning before I put it back together because you don't want any of this dirt to get into the crankcase over here. The next thing I'm going to do is remove one of the circlips that hold the piston pin. And to do this you need a good pair of pliers. You want to grab the end of the circlip where it's bent there. And twist it in like that and pull out. And now I'll remove the clip on the other side. Now to remove the pin, I've got a 3 8 roll pin punch. I'm going to insert it where it meets the pin on the piston here. I'm going to hold the piston with this hand and the punch and gently tap on the punch. And remove the wrist pin bearing. Here are the parts you should have after removing the piston and pins. All these. And now we've got everything off that we need to do to get this job on the go. Now it's going to be a matter of cleaning the whole saw, all the dirt off of that. You can use compressed air. Make sure you've got safety glasses. If you have a parts washer, that's great too. And you can wash all these parts before you start reassembling your chainsaw. So thanks for watching part one of rebuilding the Husqvarna 55 chainsaw. A good tip before you start this job is empty out the fuel tank of all its fuel because when you disconnect the carburetor, the fuel may leak from the fuel line. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in part two.